Importante ito. Hindi tayo ang maging champion sa liga nito. Hindi tayo manalo lahat ng games. Pero hindi yan ang point ng game. Ang purpose natin, it's about something else. literal na mabaho daw dito sa payatas. Eh, yun kasi yung yung trabaho ng mga tao dito eh, kaya mabaho kasi nga may dump side. <laughs> Nilalagay nila rito yung mga basura na galing sa Metro Manila. Siyempre, anong i-expect mo? Ganyan din naman siguro kung nilalagay mo yung dump side sa ibang lugar. Ganyan din yung presyo ng ibang tao. Ako nga pala si Ronald. Nakira sa payatas. 21 years old. And ngayon, nag-aaral ako sa university and then nagkatrabaho ako as a coach sa Piatas Football Club. Ang gamit ka lang nila na parang gaulan, mga bangko. Sa gulat kami kung anong nilalaro nila kasi di naman yung pamilya na laro, laro dito sa Piatas. Parang naintriga lang kami na ano po, ang galing nila. <laughs> Ayan. Ayan na yun mismo. Parang lumiit na siya ngayon. Kasi dati nung bata pa ako parang laki ng space. Pero ngayon parang lumiit siya. Ayan, dito kami nag-start. Mag-football 2011. namin 2017 ata. Tapos yun, parang ginawa na rin court yung pabila. Yan, so dalawa na yung futsal court. Dati nakikipagsiksikan kami sa ibang court <laughs> na pinapalis kami. Pero ngayon, yan, may sarili ng space yung mga bata para maglaro. Hi! <laughs> So life is hard in Hayatas. It's one of the largest and poorest communities in the Philippines. Uh, it's mostly known for the garbage, of course, and practically all of the kids have had to work at uh, one time or another. They typically sort through the garbage, some climb the trucks, some work in the junk shops, and some on the streets. Usually they'll start when they're about six or seven years old to help the family. The football team is a starting point for us. It offers a safe space. It's fun, it's friendly, and most importantly, it's a caring environment. As the kids improved, we started to join tournaments outside. At first it was surprising to other teams. Oh, Payas, that's the dump site, right? That was a usual response. Some of the other teams, especially some of the rich kids, would say things like, ah, Payatas, Payato. I remember one of the first tournaments we joined. I was walking past the other team and overheard the coach berating their players, saying, oh, we should have beaten Payatas. Uh, that was supposed to be our warm-up game. Our girls were the first to, to really grow and have enough in terms of numbers for an older team. Uh, they were doing really well, and as they got more talented, we were ready for a women's league. And we saw the Philam Sevens League. And it was a great opportunity to challenge ourselves against some of the best women's teams in the country. You've got university teams and their alumni, you've got national team players here, so it's the best of the best in the country. So women's league, yung sinasalian namin ngayon. Excited, kasi... Dati naman, hindi naman kami nag-compit ng mga gano'n. And maraming magagaling, magagaling na tao na nagdalaglaro ng football sa buong Pilipinas. So parang masarap na feeling na at least nakaka-level-level kami sa kanila. Minsan po magdadala kami ng players na galing dito sa Payatas dahil nagdadali namin sa Makati or Tagi, gano'n. Pag nagigilay yung Payatas, di ba yun yung mga player nyo, yung mga maliliit na bata pero niligsing? Hindi na yung binubungat nila. Marumi sa lugar niyo, agad. So, naiba na, nung, naiba na yung konsepto ng payatas.
next on Fair Play TV. First season, uh, we lost to Outcast 3 1, but it was a really, really good game. Outcast are the defending champions, so we're really looking forward to challenging ourselves again. We're going to win the best for us to win the game.